Time now for an in-depth look at the market news on this Friday. And for that, I'm joined by Dr. Kim Sewan, Professor of Economics at Ihua Women's University. Dr. Kim, thank you for coming on today. Good afternoon. So as we just heard, Korea has decided to give up its status as a developing country for the purposes of trade. Uh, President Trump, for one, has been asking that this be done. The argument is that Korea is a lot better off than it used to be, and the benefits it gets from that status are not fair. How big of an effect will this have on the local economy? Well, since Korea decided to give up developing country status at WTO, Korea has to open agricultural market to foreign countries, uh, including United States. Uh, I believe the most affected part of the economy would be uh, agricultural uh, producers like farmers. Uh, it is very uh, actually hard to be recognized as a as a developing country for for any longer in, in, in current economic situation of the Korea. But the, 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 the impact on farmers are not small at all. For example, for the case of the rice import, there is over 500% tariffs and over uh, 400,000 ton quotas. So that means uh, Korean government is remo removing all these barriers for agricultural uh, uh, products imports. So, so as I said, uh, Korea will be given up the, uh, the the developing country status because of this uh, uh, Korean economy's new situation, which is larger and bigger than before. Right. So, as you say, Korea will have to give up these uh, protection measures for uh, products like rice, uh, garlic, ginseng, and so on. The government, though, said today it'll do everything it can for these sectors. What can right. Korea do uh, to keep prices from falling off a cliff? Actually, at WTO, Korea will be going through multilateral uh, negotiations with other nations, and that means uh, Korean uh, governments. Uh, give up something, subsidies and, and, and tariffs uh, will be removed right, uh, not right away. Uh, it is said that uh, for reaching uh, agreement with other countries, uh, it will be taken at least three to five years. So Korea has a kind of three to five years time buffer for preparing uh, the loss of uh, agricultural uh, industries. Right. Well, uh, meanwhile, uh, growth estimates falling really all over the world, but uh, for the Chinese economy as well. Premier Li mm -hmm. Keqiang said this week that China will be taking steps to keep investment and trade stable also by opening up. What would that do for the Chinese economy? Uh, China's first half uh, economic growth was 6% on annual uh, basis. And recently, OECD forecast uh, this year's China's growth a rate would be 6.1 percent. So these figures of growth are simply the lowest growth rate in the last uh, 30 years. So this growth, low growth is partially driven uh, by U.S.-China trade conflicts. And in addition to this, uh, some foreign corporations are moving their uh, production facilities from China to other nations like India and Vietnam. So Chinese government decision to increase agricultural products imports from U.S. is uh, a desperate countermeasure to lessen the pressure from the United States. Right. He didn't put it that way, but it's a, a concession, I suppose. So uh, also here in Korea, growth slowing down. The uh, central bank is expecting growth of under 2 percent this year for the first time in a decade. Is the Korean economy really in such bad shape? Yes, actually, it is true that Korean economy is uh, declining, but not so fast as of now. Uh, Korean growth rate goes down below 2 percent this year, and that would be the first time after 2008 uh, global economic crisis. Uh, actually, from the beginning of this year, uh, the declining phase of Korean economy was uh, weakened by expensive government spending. But as of now, government does not have more resources to boost up economy until uh, next year's new budget. So if we take a look at the components of the uh, GDP, uh, consumption has been grown by almost 0 percent, and facilities grows uh, like 0 percent 
but construction investment has been decreased by 5%. So altogether, that made 0.4% uh, of economic growth for the third quarter of this year. Right. Well, you mentioned that the government's budget as a tool to uh, boost growth, that budget's worth over 500 trillion won, uh, which is around $440 billion. How much help might that be for the economy? Uh, the 513 uh, trillion won super expansionary government budget of next year is a necessary measure to stimulate uh, economic growth, along with, of course, expansionary uh, monetary policy. But the fact is we can't continue this uh, super expansionary fiscal policy for long because government debt is increasing over time. So it is important to know that governments and private sector together should be trying to re reconstruct the weakened and less competitive industries and improving, uh, improving the productivity of the laborers in the long run. Got it, Dr. Kim. All right, we'll have to leave it there today. Thanks so much for sharing your insights with us. Thank you very much.